Hey, there's Kojo Raps on TV live from LA just after the weigh-in of Errol Spence Jr. In Sean Porter, I'm here with Sky Sports own Adam Smith. How are you doing, sir? Kojo, I'm well. Very well indeed. Uh, a little jet lag, but uh, mm -hmm. nice to see uh, Errol Spence and Sean Porter, two, two great fighters, two, yeah. two friends of Britain as well. We've, uh, we obviously know them very well, both of them. Um, Mouth-watering fight, great unification. Uh, yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah, and how happy are you that Sky Sports have got the exclusive on this? I mean, this is, as you said, great unification, two great welterweight champions, um, friendly with the UK, um, about to be an action-packed fight. Fight. How happy are you with uh, the fact that Sky Sports are showing it? Yeah, very happy. Really, really mm -hmm. pleased to do the deal a, a few weeks back. Um, as I said, both fighters are known to our to our market. I think Errol Spence has got the potential to be uh, become one of the greats in the sport of this generation. Uh, we followed him um, obviously since he was uh, in the amateurs and, and, and early days of his pro career, and then he came to to Sheffield. We got to know him pretty well on the outdoor night at Bramall Lane when he uh, dethroned Kell Brook, and uh, he just goes from strength to strength. We went over Mikey Garcia. I mean, we're all big fans of Mikey Garcia back home you know he's a, he's, a, he's a great in himself and I know the weight was a big issue but what Errol Spence did that night the manner of victory was mightily impressive and then you look at Sean Porter and with Sean you always get absolutely every ounce out of him he's a world-class operator he's tough as they come he's he's extremely competitive he's a lovely guy as well and I just think it's got the hallmarks of a great fight. I expect Spence to come through, but it's, uh, it's a really good one. And um, it's, as he said, it's a unification and it's something that we should be covering. And we try as much as we can, when we can, to deliver this. You know, we've got a great deal with Eddie Hearn and Matram. We get a, a brilliant sort of, we've got a phenomenal schedule. We just announced Callum Smith uh, today, November 23rd, uh, coming home to Liverpool in a, in a big fight with John Ryder. Um, look, you know, we've, we've got a great uh, relationship with Matchroom, it's fantastic, but to pick up uh, the odd one or two fights we can with BBC and others is, is, is terrific as well. And ultimately, the customers at Sky are going to benefit from uh, from these sort of big nights. Not only is the, the Spence Porter fight good, but we've got a great card as well. Yep. Um, so, yeah, we, we look to bring uh, as much as we can to Sky, and I think that we've got the most powerful schedule autumn winter we've ever had in boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and that's, and that's great. I mean, in terms of a boxing fan, it's going to be great for us to see a different uh, promoters, uh, different fights. You also mentioned the Callum Smith, which has just been announced against John Ryder. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be seeing some other, another 168 champion in Anthony Durrell um, going up against that David Benavidez. Really interesting fight. Great fight. Um, some people are saying that uh, Benavidez, the underdog, sorry, is the favourite, younger, hungrier fighter. What do you make of that in terms of an opinion? Do you think it's a foregone conclusion? I like Benavidez in this fight. I like yeah. him. Uh, I think he's a very, very good uh, operator. He's had a, a rough sort of 18 months or so, and uh, this could be his, um, his big coming out party. And uh, Anthony yeah. Durrell is a, is, a, is a very, very good operator himself. He's, uh, he's done well. The Durrell brothers have uh, provided a great deal for boxing in the last 10, 10 years or so. But I don't know. I just got a feeling that there may, he's very young still, Benavidez, and I mm. think that. Uh, I think there may be something to, to talk about tomorrow night. I don't know, I like him. So yeah. uh, looking he's got forward the, to seeing him. He's got, he's got power. I mean, they both have power, but Benavides is obviously coming into this, as you said, young, hungry fighter. Yeah, he's uh, undefeated. He's, as I said, he's, you know, he's gone slightly off the rails by his own admission in the last uh, a couple of years. It's going to happen to young fighters. Um, mm -hmm. Has he learned from that? Has he prepared as well as he needs to for someone like Anthony Durrell, uh, who um, you, know, you know you're going to get a, a tremendously positive performance, mm -hmm. having had a great camp and... I just think he might be a little bit special, Benavidez, but we'll find out. Yeah, and last question before, you go, before we go. Um, of we spoke about um, special fighters. Um, some of the, let's say, the talk in uh, LA this week has been about Spence potentially becoming the next pound for pound great, pay per view star. Um, Richard Schaefer said he could be the next Mayweather. How important is it for Spence Jr. to look good against Sean Porter? Sean Porter, as you said, is a rugged fight. He brings a lot of energy. He's skillfully beaten a lot of good Olympic um, amateurs. You think one to mention. How important will it be for Spence to win and there be a wide margin or it, it look conclusive? I think it's very important. Uh, Richard yeah. Schaefer was the first person I spotted when I came in today and uh, I went straight over to him and uh, you know, we, we go back a long way and obviously saw Floyd Mayweather from uh, very early on and mm -hmm. And that whole sort of relationship, obviously, Richard was very close to Oscar de la Hoya for many years. And, you know, we see some greats come through. And uh, I have no doubt that Errol Spence has the ability, the talent. And I think he's got his feet on the ground as well to become a real star of this sport. And you're right, it's the manner of how he uh, 
how he comes out of the fight tomorrow night. I think Sean Porter is uh, is, is is a terrific, tough uh, challenge for anyone. Uh, he's obviously a big underdog in this fight. And look, he could make it very difficult, you know, when he fought Adrian Broner, for example, when he fought Keith Thurman, you know, he could make it very, very difficult for these sort of heavier, fancied guys. And people don't know what to expect sometimes with, with, with Sean, you know, he rushes you, he, he takes you out of your rhythm. I just think Spence is a little bit younger, he's big at the weight, I think he, he, he's stronger than he looks. Yeah. I think I saw a lot of that in the Kelbrook fight, and I think he's also very, very classy. So. I expect him to win probably on points, but if he can get a late stoppage, that'll be something spectacular. I think, I think probably points, and I think probably wider than people think. But yeah. listen, it's no disrespect to Sean Porter. I, I, I think Sean Porter is a fantastic fighter. I just think Errol Spence yeah. is elite, and I think that he could go on to become one of the great fighters of our generation. Oh, thank you very much, Adam. Really looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully that's one for the history books. Thank you for your time. No problem Take at all. Take care. Cheers. No Thank you. Bye-bye.